Good morning, fellow trekkers. This is my second trip in Adriatic Sea. I'm still near Trogir, but today I'm not going to the Trogir city in the opposite direction. Today I hope it will be a kind of more likely nature seeing, nature sightseeing instead of old town sightseeing like it was the last time. However, the conditions are even better today. Totally fluffy, unbelievable, so nice. Uh, sunshine, no wind at all as of now. Looks like a fish farm. <laughs> Most likely the seafood that I eat here comes from here, not from the sea, but that's the life. It is what it is. So Croatians are uh, famous in uh, water polo and this is one of the reasons most likely they are so good in this sport. It's a very small village in the middle of nowhere but they have a water polo field, a real, a real one. So you can play and train here as much as you want. Unbelievable, this is the first time I, can, I see something like this. <laughs> So I decided to have a short stop on a beach, kind of wild. Not really wild because it's close to this city and there is a beach bar here. But this is the beach. Rocks, only rocks, no sand, not at all. And this is kind of a good um, sea bottom here because it's easy to enter. It's not so uncomfortable like in the place where I'm staying. This is a moment of pleasure, a real life spark, like the, the name of my channel, because it is open sea, the sunshine on my face, light wind, and I'm just paddling. And this is so, and there is nothing more that I need. It's so calm. To make some trip, to continue my trip around these islands, you can see in front of me. And once I see all of them, let's say so, then I go back. I think it's, it's going to be a good trip. All right, deserted island number one. One, over there two, and there are three. Let's say four, but we'll see or four or five so this is number one uh, I'm going there because there is a small pass I saw it of course I believe these are all deserted but it's good to... Uh, I don't know. I go around some islands very often when I'm kayaking, especially in the sea. Because I find it interesting. Of course I'm not alone here. As I told you, so many boats. Traffic is immense. And this lagoon is fantastic. Water so clear. Beautiful. Number 
is there something interesting it is smaller than the previous one and let us see if there are some lagunas and of course boats with tourists This one is really deserted. So, let's focus on deserted island number three. In Greece, uh, I've seen on a deserted islands, there are goat farms. Goats live there and someone's coming, maybe uh, give them water, food, whatever it's needed. So. I'm leaving the lighthouse and I'm uh, going to deserted island number five maybe. Let's see. This one is the greenest. The greenest one. Tiny. This is the end of deserted island number five. So, so let's go to deserted island number six. I believe this is gonna be my last one. I will make a kind of circle, half a circle, and then go there on my way back home.
I'm approaching my 20 kilometers mark, which is decent trip, I believe. Maybe I'll make another five on the way back, and I'll be ending up with 25 kilometers, which is normal. Not the best, of course, not worst, kind of optimal. For the short period of time, I'm going to stay in Croatia. We found a diving center and divers, which is good. Maybe there is something interesting down there. Birds, what's wrong with you? I saw sardines, I believe. No. Th yes, these are sardines. I saw a bunch of sardines beneath the, sur the surface. And that was the reason all these birds were here. Unbelievable. Never seen something like this before. Sorry. So guys, this is kind of... This is my last uh, stage of my trip. In front of me is, I suppose, the place where I'm staying. This is the end of my second Adriatic trip. Uh, maybe there will be a third one, maybe, I, uh, maybe there will not be. We'll see, depends what we are going to do with the family next days. But, kind of summary. Uh, kayaking in, in Adriatic Sea is really pleasure because the conditions are very good in terms of low, not winds or minimum, uh, not big waves, and uh, maybe some interesting things to see. On the negative side, I would say that. You need to plan where to enter the water. You need to be careful with so many vessels everywhere. <laughs> and uh, be aware that Croatia looks like an expensive destination for tourism, so prepare some more money for renting the kayak, uh, stay food, etc. However, I think it, it deserved, uh, it's worth it. So, do not hesitate, visit Croatia, find the goodies. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, click the like button if you like my content and see you next time